Hello all my moon babies and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Candace and I'm the owner of So Conscious Moon. Here we do collective readings as well as talk about the moon phases as well as provide moon sessions for you each week and to helping you manifest or to release or to get more clarity on what you are trying to achieve through your deepest desires, which would be your subconscious. So in today's reading, I wanted to do a blessings that are going to be coming to you in the month of March. I know I didn't finish up at the month of February of doing like energy checks, but I'm kind of just going with the flow and not being so rigid as having my Virgo rising really be like on top of like certain things there's a lot that i'm going through here as a human but at the same time i am also working with my spiritual team my spiritual council and i asked them this morning what should we be doing for the collective and they said blessings so we're running with that um just a few disclaimers before we get started i do just want to let you guys know that i am no longer taking personal or doing personal tarot readings so if you are getting asked or being said that hey i have a message from you it is not me please be aware of scammers i do not accept any type of payment anymore on live streams or through my website for doing any type of readings so with that being said, I do want you guys to pick the deck that you are resonating with the most. I'm going to be shuffling these on site for you. So just pick the deck that you feel called to. The first deck we have here is the Herbalist Tarot deck. Then we have the Modern Witch Tarot deck. And then lastly, but certainly not least, we have the Mystical Melodies Tarot deck. I'm gonna go ahead and start our meditation. If you already know where you would like to go as far as the deck, you can go ahead and click on that in the description or in the comment box down below and with that being said my loves i will see you at your reading for crystal one we have agate For pile number two, we have blue agate. And for pile three, we have moonstone. Hello, pile number one, and welcome to your reading. I am super glad that you are here today, so I want you to take a deep breath for me before we get started. <sighs> feel the energy, feel the air. Um, we do have one spirit guide here, so I'm going to go ahead and get us started on your guys' reading. Um, spirit guide, what message do you have for pile number one? What is the blessings? What do they need to look forward to? What do they need to release in order for them to see these blessings? Um, Spirit, what are the blessings coming to pile number one? Okay, thank you. Um, the devil for sure, they said yes no and yes okay perfect did you want this one no i said it's face down <laughs> i love that and they said one more okay. um i'm not gonna lie the words that i'm hearing right now are i can finally breathe um i'm getting that one song um at first i was Petrified, da 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 da
Can I get one more? Thank you, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, upright or reverse. They said upright. Bottom of the deck, you have the nine of water, which is the nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment. This is tranquility. Um, as I'm looking at this, I feel a great sense of release, of a sigh, of a um, completion here. Um, it really does feel like something being um, completely done, like you're finally being able to move forward in a good positive way for you, absolutely. Um, so the cards we have here, we have the Magician. We then do have the Eight of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Upright or Reverse. We have the Death card, Upright, Upright or Reverse. We have then the Knight, the Knight of Cups. Then we have the Four of Earth, which is the Four of Pentacles. And they said Reverse in this card here. We have then the Four of Swords, and this is also in Reverse. We have the Strength card. We have the Hydra of Water, which is the Page of Cups. And then we have the Devil here. Um, a lot of cards here, a lot of major arcana cards here as well. So I'm gonna just channel the energy real quick. And the first card I do wanna talk about is the Devil. Um, you guys are getting through such a tremendous hold, a tremendous um, blockage. Um, the energy that I'm getting for you guys is that you are recognizing what your faults are this month of March. Your faults with self, your faults with other individuals, relationships, money, um, the things that you feel that the things that make you feel like you're grounded here on earth um the devil is connected to your root chakra um and if you haven't already go check out my root chakra information that i've done like tarot readings and like the basics of the root chakra um here on this channel um but the devil is really related to that because it is the things that are your addictions the codependencies um, the things that you're afraid to let go of um, in order for you to feel secure grounded here on this earth and so the blessing that i see from this from this whole entire reading is that you're changing the way that you're viewing your money you're changing the way that you view yourself you're changing the way that you view your situation and what's going on and you're choosing to accept a lot and to also release a lot there's going to be a lot of um, having a lot of aha moments, a lot of clarity, a lot of understanding that, okay, if I were to just take a leap of faith on myself, where could I be by the end of the month? Where could I be at the end of this um, this cutoff period? Um, I'm getting also the energy of a lizard. And you know how a lizard's able to cut off certain appendages and then it grows back? Um, I'm definitely getting that energy here where you guys are cutting off a lot of energy or a lot of limb, like a, a limb or some type of appendage, if you want to will, that has connected you spiritually, emotionally, or mentally, or even physically with individuals that just don't fit you anymore, that don't um, reside in your energy anymore. And you're cutting those tides, especially since we have the devil here. We also have the death card, which is all about transformation, renewal, rebirth. Um, this may have happened around the new moon that we just had. You probably had a lot of regularization around there. Um, through that regulation, if you're going through this this energy and also just kind of makes me think of a portal like you really have gone through a whole new energy than what you have been in and by you taking that leap you gained in strength right you gained in strength you grabbed you gained in this clarity of knowing who the fuck you are and knowing that you don't need a lot of things in order for you to be successful, in order for you to feel confident, in order for you to know that you are abundant, that love is truly your desire and that you deserve it. Um, there's a lot of here that you're learning, that you're having to let go of, of things that no longer suit you. You're releasing a lot of things and that is truly a blessing. For you to be coming out of this toxicity hold and for you to really 
for you to really embrace who the fuck you are in all areas or at least you're accepting one area in your life where you're not allowing that one particular thing or situation or feeling or a thought or energy to really overcome you anymore you really are stepping into your own and you're allowing yourself to really be free of the constraints that you may have felt um, in the past it really is a beautiful thing and with the other cards here this just tells me of where and how you're looking at it um, through this strength through this um, releasing of these holes through the addictions through people through situations you are truly learning to love on you in a different way um you're learning to walk away emotionally to things that are no longer fitting you you're no longer feeling like you have to hold on to or fight or try to keep something that wasn't working in the first place especially if it was in relation to your home your family father mothers girlfriends boyfriends um situationships if you are not feeling the way that you desire to be with those certain relationships you really are coming to terms with them and you're emotionally walking away you're deciding to take that long journey for yourself you're no longer going to be captive or feel like you have to stay in something that isn't right for you in that sense and you're learning to really get some breath of fresh air here with this four of swords in reverse this is lavender and so this really tells me like you really are taking the time to like take a deep breath, go outside. Um, you're really seeing the positive strengths of what you are deserving of. And you're really starting to see life in a more beautiful, positive, loving, tender care way. Especially since we have both the page and the knight of cups back to back. This automatically tells me how much you are focusing on yourself do you see how they're pouring carefully pouring into their cup and they're just allowing that flow to come in that's exactly where you guys are at right now you're allowing that flow to come in you're allowing that type of change the emotional connections the vulnerability the really tapping into this type of emotional abundance and um because of that emotional abundance you guys are really entering the energy of the ten of pentacles by the end of this month by the end of february there's going to be a nice benefit a nice pentacle a nice solid foundation that has been really switched up healed working on um, a lot of things putting into the works for you can to be manifesting your desires so there is a lot of beautiful energy here of change and these changes really do have a big connection towards how you feel about self, others, you know, addictions, things like that. And it's coming to a lot more clarity, a lot emotional and mental clarity. Um, look, not only did you get the, <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles, you also got the Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, your hard work is literally paying off. The, the things that you're working towards, the things that you're manifesting, the things that you're putting your energy towards now is going to manifest, um, especially if this is in regards to a business or you taking a leap on your career. Um, you got the ace of um, wands here. So like a new perspective, a new way of moving forward. Look, and creating a more solid foundation. Not only did you get the four of wands in reverse here, but you're recreating your stance of what you feel as if your security is what your family life is the type of relationships that you're working on towards self and what you want to build upon um you're having a more balanced look <laughs> a more balanced look at your your current life and your current situation during the month of march um you got the six of cups here balance renewal um i also see here with six plus four is ten one plus zero is one you're becoming more of a leader you're becoming more of a leader you're taking more of a stance on yourself. Yeah, you got the Knight of Cups again. You're just focusing on yourself. You're really taking care of you. You're not going backwards to what other people want or what other people are wanting you to go in that certain direction. You really are following your own suit. Yeah, you're moving forward. There is no changes here. There is nothing going back. Um a lot of a lot of under a lot of balance too when it comes to your feminine and masculine a lot of understanding of like where your codependency even happened or why you had that type of energy um where you want to go 
moving forward and it really is a, a beautiful testament. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Emperor. So again, this is a lot of a lot of this is a lot of like both duality energy here. To me, all of this was intuitive. This was all feminine. This was all you taking that moment to go within in order for you to figure it out, which is beautiful. Uh, probably around the moon energy, um, you taking the time to really release certain things and to manifest certain things into your life. And you really are going to be coming up. Look, I didn't even look at that. Um, you're going to be really coming up in the, the beautiful stance here. You got the world card. Oh, my Lanta. You guys got, oh, wow. Wow. I can't, wow. Okay. You guys got the awakening, which is the judgment card here in this deck. Um, you have recognized your own shit. You recognize other people's shit. You're not you're not holding them captive anymore you're not holding yourself captive is which is really what the big stance here you're understanding that what people's actions do do not have anything on you you just need to be moving forward for yourself this is bringing in a lot of positivity a lot of abundance a lot of self-awareness a lot of freedom here with the sun card this also is bringing in a lot of like the world literally the world card here success um rebalance as i'm looking at this i'm also thinking about the chakras and you healing your root your sacral your solar plexus your heart space your throat and your third eye as well as your crown um you're being fully you're being fully um renewed here a whole new version of yourself is being readapt re um you also have the emperor here you also have the oh okay you have two eights um what i would recommend you if you guys haven't already please make sure you're tapping in because we got the death card here again make sure that you guys are tapping in and releasing uh, recognizing your emotions and not depleting them here with the queen of cups in reverse um you don't have to be caged up and right now things may be seen slow like you're in a hermit energy like you have to kind of sit down and figure it out but in order for you to get to this boss energy you do have to sit down and kind of release and think about the things that are keeping you captive so that you can move on mm, i love that for you okay so next we're going to go into these oracle cards this is the angel oracle deck and we're going to see what additional messages spirit has for you in regards to your blessings what are the blessings spirit you're gaining more clarity you're being able to communicate to what you want to others a lot more you're becoming more assertive definitely with that um emperor card here you're becoming more assertive you're coming more um i want to say aggressive but you're making a stance of who you are and you're also allowing yourself to not feel like like uh you have to minimize your voice to other people because that makes them more happy or more um more more at ease of what how they're feeling it basically is a is a testament of knowing that you're moving forward in the right direction you're not having to feel like you have to minimize your voice to make other people happy um you also have peaceful resolution here so yeah you're letting go of the situation you're letting go of the things that are holding you back peaceful resolution here is just like there's a lot of um clarity being brought here there's a lot of healing being brought here and there's no more worry um if you believe things will absolutely change for you ask your angels for more assistance that can also be your ancestors or um god divine whoever however you see them and lastly they said there's nothing but success here for you Ooh, love that um we also have at the bottom of the deck here look for a sign so there may be something that you may want for them to show you as a sign just ask just sit there and say spirit god divine um please give me some type of clarity of what i need to be doing for myself or that i'm on the right direction next we're going to go ahead and dive into some charms here so it's going to be a little loud but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of charms to finalize your reading. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here are the charms and I'm going to 
keep them up here just so you guys can see them. They're a little tiny, right? <laughs> so first we have Cancer. And the first thing they want me to say with Cancer is that around the Cancer um, full moon back in January, you guys had a lot of recollection about a lot of things, about what you want to move forward to and what you want to release and bring forth into your life. Allow those things to happen because those energies are finally coming into terms for you this March. You're finally getting a, a hand of what your home life is. You're understanding your feelings a lot more, especially since Cancer is ruled by the moon and moon is obviously a feminine energy. So you're tapping into your home. You're tapping into how you're feeling. It's okay to not know exactly what that means, but it's also okay to express it. So be vulnerable. Um, with the black star here, all I'm hearing is remember that you are a star. Remember Remember that your heritage is also a part of you. For someone needed to hear that, um, not to give up on your heritage and how you feel about your culture. We also have the peace symbol here. So again, a lot of peaceful resolution. That energy is coming back up with a lot of peace. Um, this avocado, all I'm hearing is that can you please start adding more of a fruit and vegetable, like a rainbow diet into your routine. If you can, if you want, you can think about eating each different types of vegetable and fruit according to your chakras and you can speak positive affirmations to your food before you eat them um, you can also just incorporate them into smoothies if you're just like i don't want to eat them but i need to get my daily dose that is a good way for you to start incorporating that into your routine um, here we do have the Okay, so next we have the cards here. So the first one, this is the Ace of Pentacles, which is obviously the Ace of New Abundance, New Foundation. We also have the Nine of Hearts here, and the Nine of Hearts is the Nine of Cups, which you've already had as well. A lot of duality here, uh, the same kind of cards of like your wishes will be granted. There is new positivity here being built for you. There's nothing for you to really... Um, be scared about because there's a lot of new things coming in especially since we have the four of wands and then the i'm sorry we have the four of swords and then we also have the eight of swords so you have the four of swords again down below there's a lot of changes there are a lot of things coming in where you don't have to feel like you're stuck you're getting the clarity that you need and this clarity is being able to help you move forward with the aces with the eight of swords this clarity though is bringing you not only to the ace of pentacles but also the king of pentacles so there is a big change around for you at the end of this month to where you're gaining a lot of perspective which is allowing you to be a hustle you're getting things done your abundance is growing and there's a lot of success here so um pile number one this is going to be the end of your reading thank you so much for allowing me to read for you please thank your god your higher self um, for bringing you here to this reading please let me know if this video felt good to you and i will catch you guys at our next one bye hi pile number two and welcome to your guys's reading before we get started can you please take a deep breath for me and release all right Welcome to your guys' reading. We're going to be using the Modern Witch Tarot deck for your reading today. Okay, so Spirit, what message do you have for pile number two? What message do you have for pile number two? What is their blessings? What do they need to let go in order for them to receive these blessings? What are the blessings for pile number two, Spirit? Can we get some cards on the table, please? Thank you. All I, I'm hearing is clarity. Your biggest blessing is clarity. I'm also getting the song by Wale, Am Ambition, like I'm hearing that song right now. They said one more too. Thank you. <laughs> okay, is that it? 
they said that's it um let's go ahead and confirm the cards they said no but yes there are all the cards placing down a no correct they said correct all the cards facing down are a no okay bottom of the deck we do have the devil in reverse um all right um bottom of the deck we have the devil in reverse um underneath that we do also have the three of wands in reverse and then the emperor in reverse a lot of um the blessings that you're coming into this 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 uh, month of March is you're getting a lot of clarity. You're getting a lot of understanding about what you want, where you want to go, and you're no longer going backwards. You're no longer um, repeating cycles. You're no longer um, accepting the same kind of cycles. You are finally coming to, um, I just heard you're becoming more woke. So this may be within your spirituality or are you just learning more about self, um, individuals. Um, you're just becoming more aware, I'm hearing. Yeah, something absolutely was tear down. Something absolutely was swept underneath your rug. But it was meant for you to get, it, it was meant for it to happen. Um, okay, they said this one goes like this because I'm getting a person here with that and the page of swords is not a good energy in regards to this person. Um, like I'm not, I'm not really. Whoever this is or the situation you're going through, you're leaving them behind. You're leaving them behind. Um, you have a lot of major arcana cards here too. So a lot of, there is a lot of... Um, power being displayed here like a shit ton there's not enough room so i'm gonna put these two down below but we'll talk about them here in a moment so where i want to start off with though is these three cards here um with the tower the nine of swords and the page of swords this is what i'm getting for the majority of you people who are watching this reading right now you have dealt with someone that was narcissistic or that really had a um a mental and emotional lock on you and you're finally releasing that hold that this individual had on you emotionally physically um spiritually especially spiritually and mentally because we have two cards here so this person was probably really stalking your social media this person was probably really trying to keep you away from you waking up from their deceit from their lies um literally seeing like the foundation that you guys have grown together really trying to keep that under wraps lying to you in some kind of way acting very childish and very foolish this person was not a good fit for you whatsoever and it's had it's led you to feel both the energies of the nine and ten wands you have two back to back here um of you not only feeling like you've had to fight against them to make certain situations work or you've been putting up a barrier around your relationship so that other people um don't see the truth or they don't really family or you want to keep that persona is what i'm getting like certain persona was definitely um having to come down because you're saying enough is enough with this energy here enough is enough with this type of pain physical pain that you had to deal with emotional pain that had to come with it but there is this huge energy of where you guys are starting off at the year or you're starting off with the month of march coming to this realization about this individual and that is one that is a one blessing the second blessing that is in here already is that you have finally decided to walk away and put down those fucking wands like you don't have to continue on with this facade you don't have to continue on to carry out someone else's shit um what they have done or what they do is not your responsibility you only have your own responsibility to self and what you can do and i feel that's where you're you're you've you're going to be entering in a lot 
of it's a self-judgment it's a self-awareness it's you understanding and having that i'm ready to be free of this individual be free of what their constraints are or what they have been for me and i'd rather move forward rather than me having to feel as if i'm not good enough or to continue on this road as if this is all that it is and there's nothing more for me to give or this is all i'm going to do to receive you you taken a leap on yourself to say i'm done and this is what brings in that strength which is to me blessing number three you're not only learning about it but you're accepting it and you're having the strength to move forward with it which to me again is a beautiful fucking energy you're transforming yourself from the nine of swords of being up at night to really being a strong individual of understanding who you are and what you're deserving of and moving away from that constraint. Um, this is making you really tap into self, tapping into what you deserve, tapping into your environment, tapping into how things could be changed, how things could be moving forward, how you could be moving forward in different sense, how you can start to be relief and free of these things. It's not, even though this card is rolled by Virgo, it, yes, it's about you planning and you being in tune to your home, but it's also you recognizing that you are what you need in order for you to guide yourself through this darkness. You don't need me. You don't need anybody else, really, because you are you're going through a certain transition that no one else is really going to truly understand what you've gone through except for you so you looking for outside you're looking for other things or other people to justify it is not going to give you or make it so that you should just move forward do you see how she's putting down the laptop she literally is saying i would rather figure out my stuff than to continue on with this I would rather believe in myself and put down the things that are my distractions in order for me to be able to move forward. This is the energy that you guys are entering in. It's like you're, you're, you're wanting a different version. You're wanting a new world. And in order for you to really get from here to here to here is that you have to be able to move forward, to let go, to embrace, to be strong, to hone in, to figure it out so that you can start to move in this new energy, this new wave of like moving forward this is going to take time you this 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 type of thing that you're developing for yourself this blessing that you're reoccurring for yourself this internal blessing because to me this is a lot like to me again this is like a physical blessing of you releasing this right burdens it is emotional burden that you're releasing right it's you cutting off those tides it's mentally cutting off these tides it's you gaining so much more strength more mobility understanding of self believing in self and taking that leap on self like there's so many blessings that are coming your way because of that situation this is this is bringing in the energy of long-term success if whenever you start to remove these things that don't fit you, you're replanting a new version of yourself. You're retending to your own garden. You're retending to your own planting. Like you're, look, this this whole thing that you're going through is having you to replant or refine who you are. You're pulling out the weeds that don't fit in your garden. So as you're pulling out these weeds, you got to replace them with good plants with things that you know they're going to bring in more abundance, more happiness to you, whether that be lavender or roses or whatever you're planting, you're nourishing these things. So in this form of nourishment, it's long term. This is a long term commitment that you're bringing to yourself to create this new world, to create this new abundance, to create this new foundation, to create this new emotional connection to self. And this is how you start to really manifest. This is how you start to really bring forth these things into your reality because you decided what doesn't fit you and you're bringing forth and staying committed to developing a new version of yourself that you see in your future continue to let change in don't be afraid of what is coming to terms for you because even though it may not feel as if it's coming to terms it is don't be stuck like these fixed signs we have aquarius scorpio leo excuse me taurus and leo these four signs are fixed signs they don't like change they don't like anything to be different. It is very hard for them to kind of release that. They're very stubborn, right? And in order for a new world, a new version of yourself, a new thing to come into wishing, you have to be able to let go of that fear, let go of that change, that unknown feeling. Because even though it is unknown, it doesn't mean that it's not going to be good for you because you're dreaming about it. It's already a part of you. 
it's just a matter of you being more connected to that and knowing that you already are successful in that. So there's no need for you to be worried of that stance at all. Then lastly, we have the King of Wands here. Um, the King of Wands to me again is an energy of you being really determined and you being really in that energy of I am changing for the better. It, this is for me. Um, this isn't for anybody else. Yeah, this is you taking a stance and focusing on you during this time. Another blessing. You have so many different blessings. I know you're probably thinking or wanting like a monetary or like of uh, uh, some type of physical change but the change or blessings that i'm seeing for you is you really coming to terms with your past yeah because this car came up in reverse we have the five of cups um you're not looking at the past and being what you're not looking at what is no longer there you're looking at it and saying okay it is what it is it happened now that i know it happened now that i understand the path that i need to go through i'm not gonna waste my energy and my time on the past i'm gonna be looking forward i'm going to be looking forward towards my own happiness here i'm going to be gaining so much more control and clarity in myself with this king of swords you have two kings here not only are you learning to be more determined and self-aware and allowing yourself to be more secure especially since we have the root chakra here with the red we have the root chakra the devil being reversed this is a flip no longer are you feeling codependent or um, these dictions or something holding on to you, you're now flipped a script and saying, no, I'm in control. I'm being a boss. I'm determined. I know what I can do. I'm setting this forth. I'm being more confident in myself to deliver or to feel more confident in that. Um, I'm not second guessing myself anymore. I'm believing in myself. Look, the nine of wands is now in reverse. I'm not fighting anymore. I'm not having to defend this. I'm putting my wands down. I'm allowing myself to be free of this hold because this relationship wasn't meant for me to be in. This relationship wasn't healthy. This relationship was not a balance. It was a codependent one, just like the devil here it to me is like the whenever i look at the devil and the lovers it's literally the the opposite you can have a love energy that is attuned that is balanced that is healing that is soulmate that is real friendship um real soul tie that's going to help balance you out or you can have the energy of the devil where this energy of this other individual depletes from you sucks everything out of you you feel codependent to them they kind of switch it up and have you like the narcissism gaslighting making you feel like a relationship is working or it's not um but you're you're coming to terms with these things though that's the whole blessing you're coming to terms with the whole blessing here that things are changing um for you in your favor um yeah you got the queen of swords i mean you have the double energy here you are developing more stronger suit with self you're being more firm you're being more calm you're setting those boundaries you are speaking your truth you're understanding you're communicating that to others as well as yourself about what you want what you don't want and you're moving forward this is bringing in that energy of the nine of pentacles abundance happiness your hard work is literally paying off you have the seven of pentacles the nine of pentacles and a knight of pentacles so much more abundance and things coming in and then you have the world card twice so yeah <laughs> at the end of this month there are so many blessings for you of just internal physical emotional mental wealth you may also get a lot of physical tangible wealth as well I'm going to go ahead and now shuffle this deck here to see if there's any more additional messages from Spirit. Spirit, guys, what is the additional messages? Um, friendships. Um, for some of you guys, you're learning the truth about your friends, and that's okay. Let them go. For the other ones, um, you're very much attuned to gravitating towards other individuals that are like-minded like you, who are going to bring in a lot of healing for you and that you are going to feel healed, not so much feeling like you don't have friends or people don't understand you or get you. It's becoming more clear of how attuned you are to yourself and the people that are around you you're also getting a lot of forgiveness here a lot of forgiveness now when i say this i feel like this is more forgiveness of self as well as others um as i'm looking at this 
card she has her hair is very red but everything around her is very water it's very calm it's very soothing this to me is in connection to your throat chakra and your root chakra you have a lot of root chakra here so i would highly recommend you doing some type of root chakra um guided meditation listening to sound bowls something that you're help tuning your um chakra um energy root to be rebalanced here um but again i'm feeling like these two chakras your throat chakra that communication you feeling like you can't speak your truth and say what you need to say stand in those boundaries especially since we do have those swords of you having more of a stronger communication forgive those individuals because you holding that energy in is not helping you or them it's only keeping you in that cycle so release that release it there's no reason for you to hold on to it then we also have animals here so you can be seeing these type of animals in your dreams you could probably have them as your spirit guide um, for a lot of you though i am getting a big strong sense that the wolf as well as the owl is going to be your guys's animals if you want to learn more about them or to have them be your spirit guide you can honestly just sit there and say i need more energy of the wolf of protection of feeling like I'm guided on the right way that I'm not being, you know, led to the wrong path. The wolf is going to be there, especially if you want to feel protected during this, this transition. The owl is going to give you a lot of wisdom. The owl is going to help you see a lot of things more clearly than you ever had before. So um, that's another thing that you're getting in some type of new spiritual animal coming in through these blessings for the month, for the month of March. Then we also have peace fam pile number two you really are getting a lot of beautiful things that you probably didn't think were possible to receive but they are pay attention to your dreams you're probably getting a lot of random synchronicities but this is the only time yeah um this is the only time that your um subconscious your feminine um is really being able to talk to you is through your dreams and there is some type of portal here because you had the world card twice which is a portal you also have two cards here which is like a portal so new beginnings you're looking through the window you're looking through right a window you're looking through some type of energy to create a new version for yourself you guys are really going to be tapping into or walking into that new portal by the end of march for sure um, this is beautiful energy about how things are really changing for you um, in that stance. Next, we have inspiration. Allow the pain and allow the things that you are going through to help elevate you to a new version of, of self. Um, and what I mean by that is allowing this to help inspire you. Allow this to help you create something with it instead of you feeling um, constrained through all of it. Now, you guys can't see it, but all those cards that flew out, there's only two that actually landed on top. So I'm going to grab these two. And then they also said that these two are the last ones for you guys. So use your inspiration for moving forward. Butterflies is probably going to be your guys' also animal totem, but there's a lot of transformation here. You have um, butterflies in um, here. Then you also have some in here. You have some here. Um, you have a lot of butterflies here, so a lot of transformation, a lot of change being done for you. And lastly, all of the with all of these changes, with all this new things coming in for you in the month of March. You're also getting empowerment. You're getting your strength back. You're getting you back. Oh, wow. Um, didn't even see the bottom of the deck. Bottom, you got courage. Yeah. There's nothing but so much more abundance and courage and strength that you're getting than ever before. Like, this is changing. Um, this is you receiving a different type of blessing. You receiving different types of longevity this is just beautiful family you really are changing up by the end of march um lastly we're going to go ahead and dive into some charms here so one moment while i pick you out some charms So we're going to sit up here with the remaining of the reading so you guys can see all of the charms here up and close. 
I'm going to start off with the zodiac signs here. Now, you could be a Sagittarius or you're dealing with a Sagittarius. We also have Aries, so there is a lot of fire energy going on here. Um, you may be one of these three or one of these two, excuse me. But honestly, what I'm hearing from this is that you're, you guys are gaining a lot more courage, a lot more freedom, a lot more of understanding of self. This is a lot of fire about me time, a lot of focusing on me, lighting the spark before the end of the month so that things can change for you in the positive ways that you see forth in it. Um, and then honestly, I just keep hearing thinking about self, thinking about self, like it's okay to think about self. It's okay to focus on yourself. It's okay to keep your energy to yourself. It's okay. You don't have to... Um, you don't have to change who you are or you don't have to release anything just to make other individuals happy. It's time to not focus on you. You don't have the color black here three times. And these three charms just kind of make me say, remember who the fuck you are. If you're African-American, they want me to tell you how beautiful you are, how you are rare, you are a queen, you are a king. Please believe that. If you are not African-American, I'm still having a sense of you understanding that of your energy, of your ethnicity, understanding that that is in a sense already makes you a king or a queen. So you don't have to second guess that. I'm also hearing that things are going to be coming to you in a form of threes. So three, 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 or three good things, or three regulations, or three aha moments. There's just that number three. There's also a big sense of you taking care of yourself and believing how royalty you are. Um, believe with the star here, but with the crown and the diamond, there's just like this royalty energy here that they want me to have you remember. We can have another butterfly. So another confirmation of butterflies being in your reading and then with this being red i just feel like you're gaining more transformation within your root chakra as well as how you feel about your heart space about how you feel about life in general there is going to be a big turnaround for you and with the kid here they are just saying can you make sure you're still doing kid-like things make sure you're still doing kid-like activities for yourself sorry that was my neck if you guys heard that <laughs> sorry um but you guys feel more in tune to yourself and be more kid like enjoy your time you're supposed to be enjoying your time here um not feeling as if you are stuck in the same kind of loop this is a um new spark here you have the ace of wands as a clarifier and you're getting that again with the ace of clubs so this is the ace of wands you are now having the queen of wands here of you tapping into yourself realizing your truth and recognizing that you don't have to have all the dark shadow behind you but bring it forth with you that's how you actually manifest because you're not afraid you're moving forward those things that you used to have those barriers are now being taken down this is the second time you got the ten of wands so this is a good indication of of like the blessing that you're receiving is you putting down those barriers you're putting down the things that have that you felt were carrying like keeping you stuck in this one particular thing you're moving forward from this this is nothing but emotional success you have not you, you have both back to back you have the nine of cups and you have the ten of cups this is true emotional fulfillment happiness being brought to you there's no more negativity, no more tears. These tears are now filled with more love and with your own cup. Happiness, emotional success is here. So um, this is going to be the end of your guys' reading. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for allowing me to read and do some charms for you guys. Please let me know that you like this by giving this video a good thumbs up or writing something down in the comments. And I will check you guys at our next video. Bye, guys. Hi, pile number three, and welcome to your reading. Um, before we get started, I would love for you guys to take a deep breath for me. So inhale through your nose and exhale. Good. We're on a great start. Okay, let's go ahead and start shuffling the deck here. Um, so spirit, what message does pile number three need to hear? What are the blessings that they're receiving for the month of March? What are their blessings? What are they due to receive? What do they need to know in order for them to start receiving these blessings, Spirit? Um, can we get some cards on the table in regards to this, please? And thank you. Spirit, what message? Okay. 
both of those. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords, as well as the Magician. Okay. So no one needs. Get the Star card here. Spirit, what additional messages? Okay. Yes or no? I'm hearing one more. Thank you. I said that's it. All right. Bottom of the deck, we upright oh, reverse. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Cups here. So emotional fulfillment, um, happiness, connections. I'm also hearing longevity. I'm also hearing as well. Um, you have a lot of cards here. So let's see. So we have the Two of Wands upright. We have the Ace of Swords upright. We then have the Hangman upright. Magician upright. The Queen upright. This one. We have the Hierophant in reverse. We have the Four of Cups upright or reverse. In reverse. We have the Ten of Wands, the Sun, upright or reverse, the Three of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the King of Swords, the Emperor, the Five of Wands, and the Star. Whoa, can I just say pile number three, you have the majority, like you have more cars than the other pile <laughs> by far. Um, I'm getting two energies here for y'all. The first one I'm getting is abundance. And then for the second one, I'm getting just confidence, self-aware understanding, uh, truth, completion, um, refining, tuning to self, belief in self, um, a lot of YOLO energy here, <laughs> like just fuck it, I'm going with it, I'm gonna do it, I don't give a shit, I'm gonna take the chance. I know what I want emotionally. I'm trying to receive these things because I deserve them and I'm going to achieve them. I'm going to reach that peak. I'm going to set myself up for success. I don't want the same shit. I'm moving past that shit and I'm, and I'm moving in a different direction. I'm moving in that direction. We have the Ten of Wands here. We have the Four of Cups in reverse um we also have the hangman here and then we also have the five of wands and i feel like these cards all go hand in hand together like this energy um emotionally you guys are saying i don't I, i'm seeing the signs for what they are I'm seeing for what they are now. I'm not going to go backwards. I'm not going to 
second guess myself anymore um i know i don't need to i know i don't have to especially with the four cups here um emotionally you're just saying like i i know what they are now i know what the signs are i don't have to ignore them i can't actually put my my weight down i can't actually move forward i don't have to be in this same turmoil i don't have to think i'm not worthy enough or think that this all this burden's all on me i don't have to feel and like emotionally connect that anymore i can stop battling i can i can i can stop i can stop trying to tackle all these things and just be able to move forward i don't have to battle with anybody else i don't have to make anybody else understand me all i know is my truth and by my truth meaning i don't have to um, keep putting myself in that in that type of predicament or feel like that anymore um, your learning as a blessing is to take a moment for self this month um, and I feel like maybe some of you guys are kind of already there where you're already taking that energy of okay I don't have to do this anymore um, I don't have to feel this way I don't have to um, battle with myself and with others on like my decision or what I'm trying to do for me I all I need to do is focus on myself right now and really pay attention to how I'm feeling I need to make sure that I am really putting the energy towards me like instead of me depleting my cup I'm putting more into my cup and by me putting more into my cup I'm believing in myself a lot more I'm understanding that I don't need all I, look i can ask for other people to help me but rea in the reality the only thing that's going to help me get out of the situation is me believing in myself is by me tapping into my own creativity my own wealth my own mindset the way that i view life the way that i see life the way i take care of myself the way i don't take like you are the magician you are your manifester you are the creator of your own reality and you're taking back those you're taking it back honestly you're just taking it back and you're refocusing that shift from one thing to you and by you doing that it does bring in the inner and by you doing that that brings in the energy of you really tapping into your own wealth your own self absolutely if you want to every time i look at this these two cards it makes me think of mickey and like old school Fantasia versions where he was really trying to become something that he knew was unattainable and it was new was far away for him to do. But at the same time, he was like, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to believe in myself that I can like actually create this type of life for myself and I'm not going to give up on it. Like I know that this type of thing that I want to achieve, it may be a little far, it may be a little... Um, crazy to think about but I rather try than to not set myself up for success like I rather continue to do what I need to do in order for me to get past these crazy waters and to move forward to something that's more longevity and positive and loving for myself um, this is the energy you guys are moving into you are not only trying to rebalance your world or to recalibrate it but you're really setting a destination for future endeavors this month in March you're the blessing so far is that you're coming to your realization of understanding that, okay, maybe me taking a step back and me figuring out how I feel about everything, about how I don't want to do this or how much I do want to do this, by me taking a moment to figure it out, that energy brings me towards me. It allows me to focus on me. It allows me to understand that I am magic, that the magic that I need is all within me. I don't need all these fancy spells or anything like that. All I have is me and I can create the world that I want. I just kind of need to put, I need to sit down. I need, I need to figure it out. And that only takes that time with the hangman here. This energy of you sitting back and figuring it out is bringing in so much more, um, so much more of you understanding your worth in so many different ways uh the star card comes out after the tower 
This is about you refining yourself, believing in self, seeing the positive for what it is, having things that you may not see come actually come into life for you because of your choosing of to let go of these past. New things can come in in different forms. Um, I'm also getting a sense of you just rechecking in with yourself. You're reestablishing a new way of viewing who you are, what you want to create, um, how you want to live your life, recalibrating yourself, going outside a lot more, drinking more water, um, believing that you are the star, knowing that you are your manifestator, right? We have a lot of star energy here of you rebalancing and knowing that you are who you are. And with the Queen of Wands here, this is you tapping into that strength, that feminine strength of saying, I am this bitch. Um, she's covered in yellow, which is your solar plexus. You're feeling more successful and more abundant. She's got red boots to be more confident in her root chakra. She knows what she's doing. She's stepping into that light. And the cat represents all the dark things that was in her past she's not having it be behind her but she's having that cat be right in front of her as she's moving forward in her new direction um with the lines behind her again this is a lot of internal fire strength of you believing in yourself in a whole nother way it's a different belief um fire signs obviously because you have a lot of wand energy here it you can absolutely you can be about like your passions and stuff like that can really be taken off this month as well as far as like your blessings coming in but i'm really having a strong sense of like you're just understanding your worth through all this and that is the spark that is the thing that's keeping you like on top of your toes knowing that you can achieve these things because you're believing in yourself a lot more so much more determination so much more of a positive mindset so much more of licking your wounds do you see how like he's got bandages on his wounds like it literally feels like because of all of his crying and his tears and everything that he's gone through he's becoming more mentally strong like not only are you feeling more confident and more attuned to yourself and not letting the dark shadows overcast you, but you're mentally feeling strong, you're cutthroat. You see how the tree literally just is like tapping his stump. It's like you literally had cut the bullshit out. Like you cut off the darkness out of here. It's like you cut off all the things that weren't fitting you and you're like, I'm starting off fresh. I'm starting off new. I know what I want. I'm feeling more ready, more confident. Again, a lot of this blue here is reminding me of your throat chakra. Communication, you really mentally being strong, but also setting those boundaries. And then with the yellow, with the solar plexus of you just being more radiant and more confident and more successful that you feel internally with yourself. Um, this is beautiful energy because you really are developing these new strengths. Now, I feel like with the higher font, the reason why this came in reverse is because this is a time for you to be doing some studying. Like this is a time for you to be learning more about self. This is a time for you to be finding someone to help you as a mentor, maybe. Maybe that is something like as a blessing that you need to sit down and figure out. Tuning into someone that can actually help you get more balance or understand your dark and your light a lot more better. Um, this blessing is going to help you get more um spiritual advice more spiritual understanding more energy understanding like where you need to place your energy where you should be shifting your energy and also where should you be um like learning more about your type of spirituality i don't really care about religion because that's everyone has one in some capacity and if you don't then that's spirituality and if you don't have that then that's what this is you're really finding out another version of yourself something that helps you stay grounded um, and spirituality is not a religion it's how you see it for yourself so whether that spirituality is doing more meditations or learning more about that you're going to be learning more about your root chakra right or your solar plexus so that you can bring that back to balance it's about you taking that time or having that understanding about what you want um, or finding some institution or individual that can help you along that journey of understanding that for you regardless though you have a lot of masculine energy being um, given here as another form of your blessings. Not only are you feeling more confident and radiant with yourself, you are tending to your castle, your castle meaning your vessel, meaning you. You're tending to it. You're giving it the nourishment that it needs. You're giving the, the spark that it needs. I also feel like by the time we enter in Aries energy, which is going to be at the end of March, you really are going to be having that spark that go getting, I'm going to hunt, no, I'm going to hustle, I'm going to do all these things here. Um, really, 
really tuning into your drive, your passion, and really going for this. This is bringing in so much more abundance your way, physical abundance, happiness abundance. Um, again, it's a masculine card. You have a lot of fire, <laughs> a lot of masculine doing energy in this reading for you guys. Not only with the emperor, which is also connected to your root, we have the sun card here, which is literally all about sun, happiness, positivity, radiance, abundance. Um, there's nothing ill will about the sun card. It's literally one of the positive signs or the positive tarot cards in the deck because it doesn't matter what happened. If you get sunshine, that know that there's after the rain there's always sunshine after the sadness there's always sunshine there's always sunshine to come help dry out that pain to bring in more of that longevity and that purityness that you need okay and then lastly we have the king of swords um this is you guys just really tapping into um your mentally be more attuned especially since you have the ace which is a new beginning and then you have the closure of the king of swords which is more um excuse me, which is more of you tuning into your attitude, your directness to others, you understanding, you being great. Like you see how he's howling like the sign, like, okay, like you're being more than okay. You're being really strong. Um, you're being also being very protected here with a lot of this crown energy that I'm getting. I was really focused on the gray and the gray and the gray and then the sword. I feel like a lot of your crown chakras are going to be really more protected. It's going to be more open. You're going to feel that energy of feeling that protection from your spiritual team. There is a shit ton of freaking um, change here, especially we have the three uh, butterflies and we also have the two birds in the background. So a lot of communication. A lot of things change for you. We have the moon here too, which is also about like obviously feminine tapping into that. And again, through all of this, by all of by, by you doing all of these things for you, confirmation by the airplane, by you guys doing all these things here, it really does say a lot about how your blessings are going to feel like you ended feeling depleted and dried out at the beginning of the month of March to feeling more successfully happy, um, content, um, that longevity here is going to be present in your, in your practice. You're also feeling a lot more attuned to what you want and what you don't want when it comes to certain relationships, especially if this is involving an individual, you're getting that clarity about who this person was or what you were dealing with. Um, and having a more understanding that this wasn't the right person but they did teach me a lesson this person obviously didn't love me in the way that i did but it's helping me understand my value there's something here that you're switching the flip on and you're allowing yourself to regain more focus on yourself especially also since we have ooh, underneath that we have the king of pentacles but right here we have the ace of cups the ace of cups to me is you understanding like what you've gone through is you don't have to deplete yourself in order for you to make other individuals happy. By you focusing on yourself, by you bringing in that attention, that flow of light, that flow of creation to you, you're actually bringing in that more happiness and success and emotional fulfillment than you've been ever wanting or really experiencing here. I'm going to take uh, these cards here to see if there's any last additional messages. Spirits, are there any last additional messages? Thank you. We have the Eight of Cups, yeah. I mean, a lot of you guys are coming through that energy and you also have the Magician here twice. So um, please understand that you are, you are your own creator and you can survive and get through these things. It's just a matter of you believing in yourself that you can. You've taken this step um, to remove yourself from these situations. It's okay. Look, you got the Five of Wands in reverse. You already had the Five of Wands. Look, you're coming from the stance of like having to fight till you're saying I'm putting them down. Like, I don't need to. I don't, I don't need to. I don't need to fight with you anymore. I don't need to fight with myself. I can let you go. I don't have to um, stay in the same type of energy. Yeah, you got the eight of swords or the nine of swords in reverse. You're no longer keeping yourself up at night and you're rebalancing out who you are. Um, you're taking a, a remote look at your abundance as well. And you are 
coming to the conclusions of the illusions that you had in regards to the situation like everything's becoming more clear with this illumination of the moon here everything's coming to clear you're understanding the people who were doing you dirty and you don't have to give them that energy you need to be focusing on your own cup here with the king of cups um they said one more thank you spirit look focusing on yourself brings in that longevity of success nine of pentacles king of pentacles and we have the devil in reverse here yeah you're just you're not going backwards fam you're not going backwards you're choosing yourself you're moving forward you're releasing those bonds there's so many blessings here of you seeing the worth of you and like of you um this is the blessings that you're getting for the month of october i mean <laughs> these are the blessings that you're getting for the month of march like you're getting a new clarity of sense you're focusing on yourself you're switching the flip man you're becoming more aware yeah focus on your body focus on you again there's a big energy here your first house you focusing on you um you don't have to focus on the past you don't have to focus on those things um you may also be an aquarius but to me the aquarius energy is more like self-aware understanding if there's something that you're missing or you feel like you're not connecting to your triggers or having a clear understanding of what you need to let go of um this is going to be the time for you to kind of tap into those things you need to let go of um yeah the escape here there's something here that you need to release looking inward really looking inward do you see how there's like a circle here um, you're here now and you're trying to get out of this shell to get more purity, more clarity, um, to get from that one energy of the four of cups in order for you to get to the ten of cups. Escape. Yeah, be in control of your mind. Don't let your mind take control over you by constantly having the same thoughts over and over again. Uh, yeah, with the Mercury retrograde, to me, this is like having a taking a look at your mindset and how you're repeating certain thoughts how you're repeating certain things over and over and over again because it's allowing you to have that same type of energy and you don't need to have it um you don't need to be in it you don't have to feel like you have to keep going back and forth like you can let go you can let go yeah black lilith moon this is you really tapping into that dark feminine energy you tapping into that darkness you may not want to you got moon energy here twice you, you may not really want to, but this is how you really let go and start to manifest the life that you are desiring. Yeah, with the sacrifice here. Um, oh my God, so much green. Yo, your heart chakra really needs to be tuned here. Your heart chakra um, is something that you really need to start focusing on. Um, before I get into that, though, we do have Saturn here, the truth. Look. All I can say here for y'all is that Saturn is the truth. Saturn's the hard teacher. Saturn is the teacher of the planets that will make you go through certain certain lessons. And until you really understand those lessons, it's going to keep coming back. It's going to keep coming back until you really understand it. And with the number six here, I really do have a sense of like, because, because this month, this, this year... Uh, um, because excuse me that this year adds up to the year number six and six is about harmony it's about balance allow the truth to really come out in order for you to be recalibrated there's a lot of your heart energy being placed upon here because neptune is about what you were wearing your rose colored glasses on and having to sacrifice yourself in order for you to give what you think the dream was or what the dream should have been that is what's keeping you up at night here with this mind trick and it's in regards to your home with cancer another moon card cancer is ruled by the moon it's just tuning into your energies tune into your feelings being vulnerable to really understand that so you can move forward thinking about your future like i know but i feel um these should also be words that you should be saying to yourself when you're journaling or when you're releasing is i feel this but I know this. Um, that's going to be a new, a good way for you to kind of reassess that. Um, this one, charms. Okay. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do something different. We're gonna use these astro dice to see what house you should be focusing on a little bit of this month in March. And we have the third house, and the third house is I think, which is in regards to your mental activity, learning, communication, which again goes hand in hand with this Mercury, um, doing more journaling, um, writing down your feelings, getting more emotional, um, more vulnerable, uh, speaking your truth, being free of those things. And then we also have, I'm assuming this is nine. I can't really tell because then that's six. I think this is nine. And ninth house is um, exploring. It is higher education, philosophy, publishing, religion, travel, law, um, things like that. I think you exploring, kind of getting to that energy of Aquarius, how Aquarius is very good for just kind of spreading out its wings to see how things can actually be for them. Um, really tapping and exploring, being expansion of your horizons, which kind of makes me go into feeling like, what do you want to manifest? How do you want to change your current reality? Um, that's something you could be looking at. And then lastly, we have number four, which is all about your home, your structure, your roots, your inner security, really tapping into your root chakra. I really have a big sense about that, especially if you're releasing certain people that you're being codependent on or that you need to release. I think this is going to be a beautiful energy of you really tapping into your home, how you feel, what's going on, what do you want to release. Um, Cancer is also ruled or, or governs like your home life and how you feel. So this is going to be a great blessing for you, pile number four, that you get to really tap into how you want your life to be or how you want things to be moving forward for you so this is going to be the end of your reading thank you so much for allowing me to read your energy in regards to the blessings that you're going to be receiving at the end of march i really hope you guys like this reading please let me know by giving me a good thumbs up i'm wishing you guys so much love and happiness and i will see you guys at our next video bye